is how we can get a gauge of general community infection. One of these tests is being used right now in local schools, but there's question tonight over their accuracy. Eric Ketika spoke to a doctor, an expert, who says the effectiveness of these rapid tests depends on the number of people tested. Dr. Richard Zane says when it comes to the effectiveness of antigen testing, it comes down to two things, sensitivity and specificity. Dr. Richard Zane practices emergency medicine. He says on a personal level, getting an antigen test is not your best bet. The reason has to do with sensitivity. The test can produce many false negatives. The really important part of these tests is the sensitivity. What is the rate of the false negative? The antigen tests a very high false negative rates. But on a more widespread level, Zane says testing hundreds of people at once is a good tool. He says the reason for that is because the specificity of the test is good. That's the percentage of accurate positive cases reported. If you were to screen a large group of people and a large group of people were all negative, that's pretty reassuring. When a test is positive, it is likely to be very positive. So from a specificity perspective, it's a pretty good test. He says keep in mind rapid testing is just one tool. He says if you test negative and are symptomatic, follow up with a PCR test, one that extracts viral DNA to be extra certain. A negative test should not change your behavior in any way. If you get a negative test, it does not mean you don't have COVID. It does not mean you can't spread COVID. It does not mean that you are safe. We also reached out to URMC, one of the sites where clinical trials took place for the test. They say we do not yet have a success rate for those tested with and without symptoms. In Rochester, Eric had a cost, News 8. All right, Eric, Ketta, just to be clear, the company that makes the test that's being used in local schools, they say when it comes to testing people who are symptomatic or suspected of having COVID-19, their test, that Binax Now test, is 97% accurate. The accuracy with these rapid tests starts to fall when you deal with folks who are asymptomatic. Now, in a statement today, the New York State Department of Health said this. If positives are found in schools, contact tracing will help identify cases in the community and additional actions can be taken to prevent further spread. As we head into winter and a